Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Holiday Frenzy edition of Glammed or Damn videos, which I'm calling Naughty or Nice. <laughs> Today's naughty or nice video, we are doing a review on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. So I picked up this foundation from Sephora. It was $27 and you get about one fluid ounce. I picked mine up in the shade 21 Cream Caramel. There are 20 shades in total. This is the packaging here and I really like this packaging it looks like like a traditional glass found liquid foundation bottle but once you open it up it's not like one of those foundations that you pour out or you has a pump or anything it actually has an applicator because as you guys know this is a foundation and a concealer so it's if you want to use it as a concealer they made it easy to get under the eye area and to use it like a concealer so I like that about this foundation all right so some of the claims of this foundation it claims to be an oil free foundation it gives you a flawless look that lasts all day it claims to be full coverage and it also claims to not clog your pores it claims to have 12 hour wear and it's ideal for dry and combination skin those are all of the claims of this foundation plus concealer so that is pretty much all i have to say about this foundation right now i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the demo portion and then give you guys my final thoughts here so i'm pretty much just gonna be taking it out of the box never used it before and this is the shade that i have here again it's in the shade cream caramel i'm gonna go ahead and prime <clears throat> i don't have a clinique primer and this has been my favorite primer for like the last couple of months so I'm just gonna pop this on opening it um, it has a applicator like this and according to the box it says for complete coverage dot all over the face and blend so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna take this and just dot it all over the face So, we're going to do this side with a sponge. It's already damp because I literally just cleaned it. I will say that the coverage is really good so far. Like, it's not even blended all the way. And I'm already liking this coverage. I'm going to blend it down on my neck some because I feel like... It could be looking a little yellow. Right now, I'm hoping that it does oxidize because I um, I'm feeling like it's a little like off you know the coverage is actually pretty nice i mean you still can see like my discoloration i call it my natural contour but you can still see it so i'm gonna add a little bit more to the area just to see how it blends in but as far as the dark circles that are like right here um you can see it a little but i'm gonna add a little bit more there and a little bit more here just to see how it uh covers I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side the same way okay now this side I have a little bit more like dark spots and discoloration on so oh, I'm so used to applying like concealer you know <laughs> that I just started swiping it all over the place I'm going to just use this brush here from Target and this is the, ooh, I don't even remember the name of this brush. I have the name going across but I'm um, just going to use this one from Target. I 
I do feel like you get a little bit more coverage with the brush. Yeah. Guys, this is turning like super orange on me right now. I don't know. Because like I do have more like discoloration and everything, it did a better side of covering this side up with the brush. So far, I'm liking everything about this foundation besides the fact that I look a little orange. But it's nothing that I can't fix with like concealer and everything. Let me put my earring back on because I'm looking very crusty right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. So I have on the rest of my makeup and I did fix that eye because y'all know it was looking crusty. <laughs> so I finished the rest of my makeup and my final thoughts guys, I like the foundation. I feel like it did somewhat oxidize. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. It did kind of like change color. As you guys can see, it did lighten up a little. First put it on, I felt orange and I felt like it was off. But now I feel like it blends in very well with my skin. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the rest of the makeup blending in well with it or what. That's another thing that I like. Not only did I like the coverage of it, but it was super easy to blend into the skin. But the weird thing about it is that when I was applying the rest of my makeup, I felt like around my nose and other areas like that, I felt like it was kind of trying to come off. And I don't know if it was because... It, I didn't set it so I went ahead and I set it to see if that would help anything and it did that whole trying to come off thing went away and plus I set, um, I set it with a powder and I also set it with my setting spray so I will recommend setting this foundation but as far as like the coverage amazing and I don't think it's like too heavy on the face or anything like that so I think it's going to be a great like everyday go-to type of foundation just because it's so easy to apply and blend in and it's not like super super heavy on the face like it literally feels like nothing is there to be honest with you guys and I honestly think um once you apply it on and you set it you're not really gonna have any issues throughout the day I am gonna keep it on throughout the rest of the day and let you guys know how it goes throughout but as far as right now I'm really loving this foundation and I would definitely have to give it a nice but I will let you guys know my final naughty or nice at the end of the day um i'm gonna check back in a little bit later so it is 2 17 now i will probably check back in around five or six o'clock and give you guys my final update uh final update because apparently it's dark outside and i don't really have good lighting when it's dark outside so we're gonna make the best of what we have right now and i'm gonna give you guys my final update on this foundation i'm noticing that the areas like around my nose that was coming off before have came completely off as you guys could probably tell um so i don't know if i need to use a better primer with this or if i need to do a better job of setting this the color i do feel like the color is just a tad bit off um but it's nothing that we can't really fix with makeup so it's been what four hours since my last update and the foundation has pretty much completely left. I'm going to zoom you guys into my nose. So you can see. But you can see how around my nose here. The foundation, especially right there. The foundation is pretty much gone right there. So um, I think I'm going to try it again with a better powder. And I'm going to let you guys know in a favorites video. It could just be me because I've been sneezing. The coverage everywhere else still looks really good as you guys can see. So I still like the foundation as a whole. There's just some things that I know that I'll try it like with a different primer next time. And I'll set my nose extra next time or with a different powder or something like that. Final update is that I still like the foundation. Um, everything that, like around, like I said, everything I can pretty much touch up or fix throughout the day. It is for drying combination skin. And that's another thing that I think the reasoning behind um, it coming off because 
the oiliest place on my face and the only place that gets oily is my nose so that's probably why and my nose is like super oily <laughs> so that could be why it's coming off but other than that i really like this foundation i do recommend it but if you have oily skin i would just say to stay away from this foundation it is definitely not for you but if you have dry skin or combination skin it will work for you let me know how you guys feel about this in a comment below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you tried this foundation let me know your thoughts on it below i hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up and subscribe to my channel for more videos don't forget to turn on your notification and i'm doing holiday frenzy which means i'm uploading every single day until christmas and you don't want to miss an upload so go ahead and turn on your notifications i think that is about it so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys